What is going on, YouTube people? New Cards and Comics here today. Go to jail. Go directly to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect your $200. That is what is facing the owner of Beck, Greg Lindbergh, who you can really get into the weeds on this. If you really want to go down the deep dive, uh, go check out Simon 466's stuff. He's done a bunch of videos on this gentleman. But to keep it kind of high level, he owns essentially the firm that owns Beckett. He has had all sorts of legal trouble and it has finally come to an end as he has pled guilty to $2 billion in insurance um, fraud. So if you, if you wonder why Beckett hasn't invested any money into itself, it's because this guy most likely stole it. The it's just an absolute mess. Like I said, you could you could really go on a deep dive on this guy, but he is finally getting his justice. And what does that ultimately mean for Beckett? Will this finally lead to them being sold off? That's the real question. And it also paints a picture of kind of, you know, the dysfunction that's been going on over there basically since the pandemic began, because this guy's been in limbo for a few years now and probably is a big reason why they have not invested absolutely anything into that company and have just been going along status quo now that this is finally resolved does that change anything i don't really know because i was sitting here this morning you know cooking breakfast thinking about who would make the most sense to sweep swoop in and grab the the carcass of Beckett and either bring it back to life or just continue to milk it because we all sit here and laugh. We all look at their grading numbers every month and all joke about how Beckett's dead, da, 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 they're dying. But I have a sneaking suspicion they're still a very profitable company. Uh, grading in general seems to be extremely profitable. I don't think they have a massive staff. They clearly haven't spent any real money recently. And the fact that the lights are still on over there tells me that they're probably just printing money and happy to just go along with what they've been doing for the last five years. Just let it chill. Cards keep coming in because we have a cool name that people have nostalgia for. We have a very loyal fan base, even though it might be smaller than some of the others. Cards are going to keep rolling through the door. People are going to keep paying for a Beckett price guide that's next to worthless. And we don't have to put any money into this and money keeps coming out the other end of the green. As long as that keeps happening, we will keep this company on life support. So when you start running down the list of hobby companies of who could swoop in, all right, everybody, which this is comical, everybody hates fanatics. Everyone can't stand them. They hate that they bought tops. But whenever you bring up Beckett, the first person everyone runs to is, oh, fanatics should buy Beckett and save them. Okay, uh, so you don't want Fanatics involved in cards, but you also want them to buy Beckett and save them. Got it. Cool. The other thing that's going on there is there's obviously been a billion clickbait videos in the last couple of weeks about F Fanatics' current financial situation, uh, about Fanatics' events collapsing, all that nonsense. You know, are they really in the position? And listen, I'm no Wall Street bro. I have no idea what their books look like and what different debt means and all this other nonsense but i will go with uh where there is smoke there is fire type of analysis on this and say something is probably going on over there and it's probably not as rosy as a picture as it used to be so are they in a position to go out and buy beckett and then here's the thing it's not just buying beckett especially for someone like fanatics if a hobby company buys beckett they are going to have to put a bunch of money into Beckett in addition to purchasing them to fix all the crap that is wrong over there to get them back to a viable company. They're going to have to hire a bunch of graders. They're going to have to clean up their customer service stuff. They're going to have to spend a bunch of money on tech, to upgrade submission processes and things like that. There's just a bunch of stuff that they have to do. In addition to that, Beckett has a bunch of pending lawsuits against it from former companies and employees that they haven't paid that they owe a bunch of money to. So that's hanging over their head as well. 
So is someone going to want to come in like a Fanatics who, you know, if you listen to the, the titles and thumbnails, is going out of business? Are they going to want to come in and spend a bunch of money on Beckett and then pump a bunch more money in the Beckett to actually bring them back to life? Especially with what Fanatics would want to do with them, they need a fully operational Death Star, not one that Luke Skywalker just blew up over Yavin. So I don't know that Beckett makes or that Fanatics makes a ton of sense to go after Beckett. Okay, so who's next? Okay, collectors slash PSA. Could they go in and swoop up the scraps? They just built an office in Texas. Uh, they would probably look at it kind of like SGC. We're basically going in and buying the graders. And with PSA, they have the interesting angle of they would also be buying CBCS, which is comic book grading, which would give them either a second office to grade comics out of or additional comic book graders if you're just looking at it like you're buying the staff. That has some interest on paper. I don't know that Collectors wants to shell out a bunch of money for Beckett. I have no idea. And to me, the bigger concern would be, because there was already talk about this when they bought SGC, and once again, I'm no expert on this stuff, would there be regulatory concerns if they purchased Beckett? Because now you have Collectors as already the dominant force in the industry. Last year, they purchased SGC, and now they go out and purchase Beckett. That would basically leave CGC as the standalone. I can make a very compelling case for collector slash PSA purchasing Beckett. I don't know how the regulatory stuff would play out on that. I'm sure someone a lot smarter than me can fire off in the comments down below. But on paper, if collectors wanted to spend the money, it does make a ton of sense especially when you factor in the comic book grading side of things, that that would give them an infusion of assets, personnel, et cetera, on that side of the board. You know, could they just take over the CBCS offices and use that either as a second location or as a primary location for comic book grading, keep a bunch of the graders, freshen some things up, so on and so forth. I don't know. But does that flag regulatory concerns? I also don't know. So, you know, they're on paper, I can make the case, but I feel like there's a big asterisk around that. And like I said, they just bought SGC last year. Do they want to go purchase yet another grading company to buy out the competition? If you want to start getting outside of that, then you're looking at CGC slash Blackstone. CGC is in the middle of having layoffs. It feels like Blackstone's just sitting there squeezing whatever money that they can out of CGC, which is not surprising. You know, would they do the same thing with Beckett? Maybe. If they did, I don't know that they would merge the two companies or anything like that. I think if any equity firm swoops in and grabs them, whether it's Blackstone or another one, I think they would just keep them status quo and just let them run themselves into the ground while they continue to print money off the back of the company. Like I stated earlier, Beckett is probably a fairly profitable company as is. So would another equity firm come in and buy them and dump a bunch of money into it? I doubt it. They would probably come in, trim up some fat, and say, okay, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, as long as you guys are in the green, we're good. They'll run their numbers and say, we could turn a profit on this. And then eventually sell it off again for pennies on the dollar later after we already made some money off of it and stripped it for parts. I think that's probably the most likely. I just don't know that it's Blackstone and they swoop in and all of a sudden there's some big Beckett CGC merger. I think it would be kind of like what collectors did with PSA and SGC where they're technically running them as two separate companies. But look at that acquisition. PSA has done virtually nothing with SGC, at least publicly. Maybe behind the scenes they've done some stuff, but all these new enhancements and gizmos and bells and whistles that PSA slash collectors has rolled out has all been on the PSA side. There's been nothing public facing on the SGC side outside a couple of different sales and promos that they've done. On the marketplace side, you know, would eBay or someone like that or a whatnot or, you know, one of those types of places make sense? I, 
maybe i don't know ebay already has a partnership with psa that seems to be working out quite well and i don't know that ebay wants to downgrade their grading company they're already partnered with the biggest grading company in the world why would they want to go four steps backwards to beckett that really doesn't make any sense and then you got your wild cards you know like whatnot or something crazy like panini you know what i mean just like some of these wild ones that could potentially get involved i don't know that i see a compelling case for them either so I think what it ultimately comes down to is probably just another equity firm purchasing them. And I don't know that that's the best thing for Beckett because I don't know that someone like that is going to pump money into them versus suck money out of them. And I think that's where we currently sit. I don't know who could swoop in and actually turn the company around. Fanatics would probably be the only one that jumps the top of mind off the top of my head. But like I said, I don't know if they're in the position to do that. And once again, everyone wants Fanatics to come in and save Beckett, but on the flip side, also doesn't want Fanatics involved in cards. You can't have it both ways. And then there were to obviously be a billion things about conflict of interest, about them owning their own grading company, and then trusting the grades that come out of there and all the other nonsense that would come out of uh, an acquisition like that. And that, would that pop regulatory concerns as well? I don't know. So that's where we currently sit. You know, Beckett's going to keep chugging along, doing their thing. I just don't know. I think my big takeaway here is I don't know that I see Beckett's fortunes changing anytime soon. I think they are very much just churning along, doing their thing, probably not really going to improve anything, probably not going to see any mass changes. The people that love to grade with them will still grade with them. They will probably continue to slowly lose market share in business as time goes on until eventually they get to the point where they are not profitable. And then at that point, maybe they're eventually killed off or sold off for pennies on the dollar. We shall see. As always, curious to see your thoughts and comments down below and how this all plays out with a once hobby darling. The leader of the industry has turned to one of the most mismanaged and just dumpster fire of a companies in the industry. That's all I got. Catch boys and girls on the next one. Peace.